<laughs> well, well, look who's come to play. Welcome, my delightful little minions, to today's twisted tale of despair and disappointment. Joker, fully a deux. <laughs> More like fully a dud. A sequel that promised mayhem but delivered a damp squib. So grab your popcorn and let's unravel this chaotic conundrum, shall we? Now let's dive right into that script, shall we? The original Joker was a haunting masterpiece, a seductive waltz on the razor's edge of madness. But this one? Oh, it's as if someone threw a bunch of jumbled ideas into a blender and hit puree. The writer clearly had one foot out the door, scribbling like they were late for a party. Fale a More like fully a dud. Arthur Fleck, our beloved misunderstood anti-hero, played once again by the brilliant Joaquin Phoenix, is now just a flickering candle in a storm. Remember that beautiful descent into madness? Ha! It's vanished like smoke in the wind. Instead, we are treated to disjointed scenes that resemble a fever dream, characters popping in and out like ghosts at a haunted house. It's a carnival of confusion that leaves you gasping for clarity. And what about our fierce femme fatale, Harley Quinn? Enter Lady Gaga. Such raw talent. Yet here, she's reduced to a mere shadow. A fleeting figment of a once vibrant character. Their chemistry? It's like trying to mix oil and water. Never gonna happen. You can almost hear the audience's collective sigh as they witness this forced romance. Two puzzle pieces from different boxes, desperately trying to fit together. Oh, the tragedy. Now, let's talk about pacing, my dear audience. This film drags along like a tortoise in a three-legged race. You'll find yourself checking your watch so often you might as well be waiting for a train. Arise. Tension. Gone. Stakes. <laughs> Laughed at. And tossed aside. You're left wandering through a labyrinth with no exit. Wondering if you accidentally stumbled into the wrong film. Visually, you'd expect a feast for the eyes, but instead we're served a gray mush. A palate so dull, you'd think they were trying to drain Gotham of all its vibrance. The cinematography? Oh, my dear, it's flatter than a pancake at a sad breakfast. Where's the flair? Where's the madness? It's like a clown without his paint. Lost and lifeless. So what's the grand finale here, my lovely audience? Joker, fale or do, is a tragic mess. A beautifully chaotic tumble into the void of mediocrity. It's as if they tried to concoct a potion of insanity and came up with stale water. If you're looking for a sequel that twists your mind and grips your heart, keep searching. This one's a hard pass, my friends. Thank you for joining me on this roller coaster of disillusionment. Remember, in a world filled with sequels, sometimes it's best to let the Joker remain the unpredictable force of chaos that he is. Until next time, my darlings, keep laughing and embrace the madness. And remember, sometimes the biggest joke is the one played on us. <laughs>